Hey, how's it going everybody? So I want to go over two quick thoughts related to some tutoring I've been doing lately. I've been doing some tutoring related to mathematics, uh, mostly in the arena of trigonometry, a little pre-calc, a little calc. I actually finished calculus, uh, college calculus when I was in high school. So it's been a while since I've done that kind of math on the reg, but it's something that even still, has not been mastered as far as teaching in schools, and it's it's something that's really troubling to me. And I, I think the the core issue is something that uh, Salman Khan of Khan Academy has uh, has noted, and that and that is that teachers and uh, educators, those who are providing the the curriculum, are not getting to a point where the schooling is about mastery. And what happens is, is that there are students who are coming through the ranks and they're missing gaps of mathematical knowledge that are predicates for other types of math. And it's just one big uh, destructive thing. I mean, if you don't know PEM does, it's going to screw up everything else. If you don't know how to do a fraction or a fraction or what you're supposed to do to flip that over, these little base things that get lost in translation, then you're going to be screwed. And a lot of these students are just getting screwed because... Uh, we have an educational system that focuses on, focuses on getting people by, and it can't be that way. It has to always be about mastery. And really, most people are actually able to master it. It's just a matter of time. It's always a matter, really a matter of time. Um, people just need the opportunity to do it at their own comfort level, at their own speed, and that's a big flaw of one-size-fits-all all education is that it doesn't allow students to work at their own pace, to make mistakes, to learn, to be given the opportunity to, to make the mistakes to learn, and then to continue to master it based on their own knowledge. And I think what um, Salman Khan has done with Khan Academy is absolutely amazing. Um, what he's been doing since 2011 is, is just great. And that's a model that people should adopt in terms of education uh, as far as a better way of doing things. It's not the only way, but that is a great way to approach mastery. Now, the three things that I did as tutoring tactics as far as uh, taking that mastery mindset and putting it into uh, a tactical level is that when it comes to learning math, there's there's three steps to the process. The first is definitional. Um, and I have this written down, so I'm reading off it a little bit. Definitional means that it's a language of the terms of subject material. When you approach math, it's really like any other topic. It's learning a new language. And you have to understand what things mean in order to work around them. If someone says unit circle and they're dealing with trig, you got to understand what that means. You know, if somebody's talking about x and y coordinates, you have to understand what these symbols really mean. And that's the most important thing. I think a lot of time needs to be spent on understanding the symbols, practicing the symbols um, before moving on to other elements because without having a foundation in the language, it's so hard to convert that. It's so hard to do the analogies and to do the conversions and flips. And a lot of people really don't get that training. That's kind of sad. And the second part, of course, is the mechanics, the actual part of what do you do when someone gives you a question. And I say the mechanics is actually going to come before number three, which number three is the why, you know, how it works and why the proofs. I say mechanics are more important than that because I compare it to riding a bicycle. Someone can talk to you all day about what it's like to ride a bicycle. Uh, but when you until you actually get onto the pedals, until you actually start going and understanding it through motion, it's an experience that you just don't get. And, and I thought that I um, had a very good experience with my math professor because she uh, chose Saxon math and the focus there was mechanics first, get in the habit of doing it and then the knowledge of the whys and the proofs come after because you do it and then you start to see how it's fitting. You start Your mind starts putting together the whys and then when you go to explain the whys, you already have a great foundation on the terms, you have a great foundation of what you're doing and then it's like, okay, I see the whys now, I see what you're saying and I think that's really a great way to structure the educational element. Of course, now the mastery part comes into practice questions, going through it until you get it. Um, if you get something wrong, the teacher is there to help you and help you master that concept and you keep working on it until it's solid. Uh, but as far as how to approach it, I really think that based, you know, based on my experience and in many years of helping people and tutoring, that it has to come down to definitions number one, you need to have the language down pat. You know, it's not the, even the math part. It's just knowing what's what. Second, the mechanics. You've got to run through it. You have to keep doing the practice questions so that you start to see how the mechanics of everything works together. And then the why can come after. You can do the proofs after if that, you know, 
is something that helps somebody understand uh, what you need to do. It, it's it's something that that is important to the logical reasoning, but it may not necessarily be important to getting through for a test. It may not be as important to getting through for what you need for a grade. That is something that is important on the on, in the long term, but a lot of times people are crash course tutoring, and it's like, okay, I need to get through this test, but we need it on the mechanics, they know de the definitions. They might learn after the fact and say, okay, that's the why, I understand the proofs, I understand you know, how these things interrelate a little, interrelate a little better, but um, at the end of the day, those two foundational components, definitions, mechanics, are what allow students to get good grades and then move on with the understanding. So I hope that was helpful, a little tutoring tidbits from yours truly, and I'll talk to you all later.